Hello folks, it's uh, Alex again from Red Kite Artistry. So um, today, beautiful, beautiful autumn day. It's, it's one of those, it's not too cold, not too hot, but it's really sunny, absolutely stunning. Um, and I am sitting here painting and this afternoon I'm going to go out for a beautiful walk in the countryside. Well, as close to some countryside as I get around here. Um, so. Today I'm going to do I'm going to try some different paints. Uh, normally I use Liquitex Basics as my acrylics, um, and I do have the white that's my Liquitex. But I um, I was in Cass Art and I found these. These are uh, PBO PBO. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but what I have here is a Prussian blue. I have iridescent orange yellow and iridescent green blue. So I'm going to use those three. I'm not going to stick in, because these are iridescent colours, I'm not going to use a metallic for that additional shine. I was thinking of maybe putting in the gold, but I'm I'm leaning against it, so I don't think so. So I'm going to mix up those colours, and um, once I've done that, um, we'll be ready and I will come back. And we're back. So I've mixed my paints. The oh, The colours are beautiful, that's the first thing I can see. That's the, let me get you in the centre there. There we go. That's the Prussian blue. Um, this is the iridescent green blue. You can see that. Um, and this is the iridescent uh, orange yellow. And that for me is the most iridescent. That is definitely sparkly. Like some reflective, I guess, sorry, rather than sparkly. Let me move my pouring medium out of the way. Um, okay, and obviously I've got my white, which is my usual um, Liquitex Titanium White. I'm just going to add um, a couple of drops of silicon to each of the colours, but not to the white. Okay, mix those in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, nice. Um, and now with my white, which is, um, like I said, the Liquitex Basics. So yeah, I went on this beautiful walk yesterday with a friend of mine um, in a little village, probably about a half hour drive from me. And it was again, it was well, it's a bit more cloudy than it is today. Um, but you know, your autumn day, really sunny, lovely, and sometimes you just need that, don't you? The fresh air, get away from everything that you normally do outside, spend some time with a really good friend, and set the world to rights. Ha <laughs> I wish. Okay, um. But yeah, it was really nice and really relaxing. And um, when I work, I have um, I have every other Friday off. And I tell you, I value those like they were gold dust. Because it's like an extra day and I pick something to do with it that is all me. So every couple of weeks, I effectively have like a me day. And I can recommend it. Very lucky to be able to do that. <clears throat> right, okay, so I'm doing, um, so in a previous video, I had a bit of an experiment between um, a couple of sizes of pipes. So this one is about an inch and a quarter across, and it's about two inches tall. The other one that I had, I was trying, was half inch across, and um, I just want to see the difference in terms of pulling the paint um, in terms of, well, I'm calling the pipe drag, I don't know if that's the official name for it. I don't know if any of these things that we do have official names, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm, and I, and I really liked the effects that came with this one. Um, the other one, fairly skinny, but I really like the effects that instantly came with this one. So I am going to go with this colour and I'm going to start with a bit of the green blue. I'm not going to fill it up with too much paint. Um, again, this is an 8x10 canvas. 
so we don't want too much paint in terms of the colour but they will get overwhelmed but uh, you know I'm going to give this a couple of rounds of colour and see what happens so this is the Prussian blue that's just such a beautiful deep rich blue I really like that um, and I'll put a little bit of white in between there we go that's enough and then again the iridescent green blue the iridescent orange yellow I'm literally not really going for too much on this top there. The Prussian blue. And again, finish it off with a little bit of white. <clears throat> okay, so obviously with this pipe technique, I'm not um, mixing at all. I'm literally just layering. Um, with the, when you do a flip and drag or a dirty pour, you can, you know, do a bit more mixing in the cup. But I don't. I don't want to at the moment, so I want to see how this comes out. So I'm just going to loosen it a little, tip it there. And if you can see that, a little bit of paint's starting to come out over here, and I'll move that way, and then start. I'm, I'm most, I'm basically floating the paint, floating the pipe on top of the paint here. off to that corner oh look at that I don't know if you can see the uh, inside it's all different colors in there so <clears throat> straight away you know we're seeing some cells popping up this I find quite fascinating because uh, obviously with the dirty pour um, you're pouring the colors on top of the white whereas this frequently you're dragging it sort of underneath the white a little bit um, and so you start to see really interesting effects. Those colours look lovely together. Okay, so I'm going to get my torch and pop some bubbles, and I fully expect to get cells through this as well. I want to make sure I am. Yeah, look at that, they're coming up. Pop my bubbles in my paint. The silicone's going a little bit bonkers. That's beautiful. Um, question is, will I have enough patience to literally just use, leave the paint to do its thing rather than tilting it? You know, I might. I never do. I'm just, I always want to play. But today, what do you reckon? I might actually, oh, that's interesting. That's spreading out. Beautiful colours. Okay. That's enough torch, so we should have got all the bubbles out and some of these um, some of these colours are beautiful. I'm just going to take uh, the white up to the edges again. It does tend to draw back at times if I don't get it over. I may need a little bit more white, but that's okay, I can do that. Tiny pot of, oh, I did not put enough white paint. <clears throat> Panic. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do this a little bit carefully. So I don't wanna go over my beautiful color there. Just add some paint here. To my edges, there's a little bubble there. Make sure I've got decent coverage. Um, Oh, this paint is spreading beautifully. See, no touching, no tilting. I wonder how far it's going to spread. I think this is a um, absolutely beautiful leave Well, yeah. So okay. So looking at the colours themselves. So the green blue was an iridescent colour. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you can see on the camera. I'll bring you up a close up. But the the green blue just comes out as you know a turquoise there doesn't seem to be um, iridescence in it just gonna go on the edges here 
very carefully, I promise. Um, but the orange yellow, the iridescence is really obvious. It's like, it's like a copper. It's like I put mica powder in it. Um, amazing. That is beautiful. So, obviously, there's quite a bit of it around the the green blue and the, and the orange yellow. Beautiful around here, but even the tiny bits that come around the edges on the uh, Prussian blue, just looking fantastic. So folks, what is the temptation here to colour it, cover it, to tilt it, to blow it? But you know what? It's so pretty on its own. I'm just doing the edges for those who are thinking, what earth is she doing? Why can't she stop? Uh, yeah, she can't stop. I swear I don't have a problem. Um, yeah, so edges, lovely. Trying to avoid where it's dripping off because it's beautiful down the side. Oh, lovely along here, along here. Let me just check the back. Excuse me a moment. Getting in front of the camera. Yeah, just do a bit more around the back. Just to make sure we've got full coverage on that. I don't know what you think, but I think that is absolutely beautiful. I might give it one more blast with the torch just to make sure we've got all the bubbles, even though I haven't been playing around with it too much. But I don't want air bubbles in my paint. Okay. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. So that was the Pebio, I think it's Pebio, um, Studio Acrylics, uh, High Viscosity, and I just put three colours and I put um, a couple of drops of silicone in each of the colours. Okay, so I think those paints are lovely and I think I'm quite happy to intersperse um, the Pibio with the Liquitex, which gives me lots more things to play with, which is always good. So I've moved this back to settle and dry, but I did promise some close-ups. Um, if you go in here, I don't know if you can see that beautiful colour in the orange that's the iridescence. And hopefully that's going to look equally beautiful when it dries. This is the bottom right-hand corner. I've left some lovely space, white space up on the top. Um, and then the top left again with the, well, there's effectively turquoise and orange with a little bit of the Prussian blue. So there it goes. I shall leave it to settle, to dry, and uh, hopefully find out what it looks like not too far away when it's actually paused. I will see you next time. Um, thanks for coming on my learning journey. Bye.